Okay, let's start up another episode here. I got some embezzled and blackmail successful and uh, someone discredited. That was nice. So uh, overall, court positions have been changed, I believe, uh, the first commander. No, actually not. It's still still then. Stausred as the high priest. Should I go for temple builders or piety? Oh, the favor. Yeah, that's nice. I want that favor. It's always wise to seek aid, especially in Egypt. Yeah, that's cool. So overall, the it's uh, Shemu. It's harvest season, and uh, as you can see, Abu Ab was conquered. So I need to go for Kus Kes over here. That's a very bad way to do this i need an outpost to give me the or some place to give me the immune to desert attrition desert attrition is just deadly it's it's what's going to kill most of your armies if you're not careful so i need 50 percent to encamp there and you lose quite a lot of men and you lose them instantly so you kind of have to reinforce and then move <laughs> It's going to take so long to get there because I didn't capture Abu Ab. Yeah, that's the big problem. And I don't have, you know, I'll I'll likely have to uh, to betray them later on. So who knows? I've been getting some more uh, units here. I want a, a full secondary army and then maybe a third army very soon. Okay, I can go and get some movement. Oh, but I'm recruiting. What am I doing? I'm recruiting. Hold on. Let's stop recruiting. Get that movement. Okay, that's cool. It's a lot of movement, actually. I should have given this to the other army. I didn't realize that I had this here. So, yeah. Let me just move him here. And then recruit the units. I want some Nubian Longbowmen. I think I prefer the Nubian Longbowmen and the Clubmen. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Yeah. Pending actions. I have some constructions available. Yeah, that's overall, that's cool. Hmm. <laughs> what do I want to increase? Happiness? Happiness would be nice. I really need that happiness to to increase. It's it's not, they're kind of unhappy. So yeah, a beer hall would be nice. This is bronze production. I always like to have that, but still. I do need some workforce growth. Yeah, I'm starting to require some workforce growth here. You kind of need like maybe a couple of buildings for work workforce growth and that's it. It's not like you need them all the time. So yeah, let's go for that. And yet another one. Yeah, I'm going to need that. I hope those stack, by the way. You can let me know if they don't. And dongle oasis, I think I'm gonna have to do the same idea. I'm gonna need that. Yeah. 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 And I'll just get some happiness. Yeah, I, I need the happiness there. So pillars of civilization, we are now in the crisis area, which is kind of kind of bad. You know, disasters can occur, blessings can occur. So we gotta be careful with that. And yeah, let's continue. Let's uh, uh, hope that the food doesn't get lower as well. Okay, I think I'm going to need to attack these guys. Uh, they were kind of friendly, yeah. but they are now unfriendly. And yeah, I think I can get oh, Kurkur to... Me. Your father was wrong to cast you aside. I'm yeah, honest. to give me something in order to do this. Oh, I can get a non-aggression pact from them. That's cool. And some stone. Yeah, a single barter. So some stone. That's nice. Some food. Let's go for it. Another successful negotiation. That way I'm attacking Buhen. And their lands are kind of cool. So it has food. It has some other stuff. So yeah. That's excellent. That's the idea that I wanted. So building units, I'm recruiting, I'm building up. And let me just see here. They have some troops here. They're good. But I think I can do this. Let's see. 
Oh, there we go. I could not resolve. Do I lose anything, really? Or should I just encircle for a couple of turns? I, I think there's no loss to encircle, and there's some renowned units here. Should I fight it out? It's an outpost reinforcing the orange. I'm just going to encircle a little bit. Maybe just reinforce and auto it. Let's see what what happens. You can see that I moved my M M MS guy because it would take so long to get to Kuskes and they conquered it, so that's why he's there. I just retreated it. Okay, auto resolve will do that. Hmm. Let's just encircle for now. Let me see if I can replenish a little bit. Yeah, I think so. Let's recruit some more troops. I'm getting this third army. I expect strong arms and open yeah, hands. this is just to ensure that the enemy doesn't attack me from the top from Buhan main area. Yeah, let's continue. Yep, so I spent a couple of turns, which means that they got some attrition, which means that this, this battle is much easier now to fight. And let's do this. Let's fight it out. And the battle begins. I'm attacking the enemy uh, reinforcements here. It's just one general. So uh, all my archers will do is just get rid of it very easily. And if you notice a little bit of lag, my apologies once more if the enemies are numerous, if the number of entities are numerous, it just lags a little bit when I'm recording, which is the big problem. Sorry, computer is good to play. Actually, it's very good. I'm happy with it. It's a, a, a good option for it, but it's uh, poor when recording, which is kind of a problem when I want to do some cinematics like this. And my other army is on that other side, of course, to divide and conquer. Let's go. So battle plan very easily. Those guys got rid of the reinforcements and are going to attack half of their force while my other force reinforces um, from the other side and splits their force up. Very easy. So the enemy archers are now doing their best to overcome my force, but it's just it's just too much. <laughs> you can see how how my units just respond really well and I do have the high ground so this battle should be very easy I'll just use my fast units kind of like you use cavalry you know sorry for the oh let me see if I can move via this area yeah actually it doesn't oh okay I have to move manually sorry and yeah because of the number of entities yeah, it's lagging up i'll try to reduce i don't know if i can do that within the campaign to reduce the number of entities but if it is possible i'll try just so that you know you get to enjoy a little bit better the cinematics and yeah the red ones are mine the green ones are the enemy actually sometimes it's the other way around but in this case it isn't Yeah, in slow motion you can see everything is fine. No, of course, because the computer handles it. You're good, computer, don't worry. So I'm just asking you to record which wasn't your main premise. And yep, enemies are just getting hampered by my arrows. Let's continue. And overall, there's some uh, Nubian hunters here attacking. But yeah, there's nothing that the AI can do to actually cause any damage. I can just flank forever. He does have some nice units here. If not mistaken, he includes a bodyguard unit. But yeah, my fast units are catching up. And there's like four units attacking a bodyguard there. So yeah, I have way too many men for them to, to be able to survive. Nice, we get all of them engaged, which is excellent. Soon they'll be dead. Yeah, and right now this uh, area here is completely cleared. Of course, I have way too many units for them to... You know, if they, even if they would just sum up everything against one side, it wouldn't cause anything. Uh, they, they wouldn't be able to do any, any harm actually to my forces. So yeah, that is victory.
And the aftermath of that battle, very straightforward. So I did gain a lot of food, which is excellent. And I'm gonna occupy. That's cool. Abu Ab doesn't have any buildings and it can get some food, which is excellent. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna want. Let's go for happiness. Yeah, let's wait for the Shadoof farm. Let's upgrade this here. That's so cool. And Amon Mess, are you the one who's going to go over to conquer there? Oh, yeah, that, there's this army here that I really need to get there. Should I? Should I just stop by that Egyptian monument? I think so. That army is taking attrition, so that's, that's no need. Oh, I'm, am I really going to sack or raise here? Yeah, I'm going to raise. It's not really that important. They're just going to lie in ambush. And even if it attacks that army, I can deal with it. This is just going to replenish and going to attack here on Couscous. And yeah, that would imply a much better solid base for me, actually. Uh, I hate this. The, these two guys can just destroy some of my outposts, which is a pain. But yeah, I'll have to deal with it. After. Yeah, I'm losing 1k in food. Well, that will recover. And the Sea Peoples are invading our land. So, yeah. Now, I don't want to take that court action. Actually, I'm going to refuse. Okay, win a battle and get some stuff. Conquer a region, focus on producing warriors. I'm not really requiring more auxiliary units. I think I'm going to go for the 2,000 bronze. Yeah, I think there's one that I can capture very simply. Or should I get the win battle? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. And yeah, there doesn't seem to be a lot of threats from Buhan. In terms of local deities, let's decide here. So Horus, Horus is nice, actually for that prayer with the attrition immunity and the movement at sea and on land. It's really powerful. Speed charge bonus, movement restored after battle. That's nice. How about Anubis? What do we get? Missile range for chariots. Chariots is focused on, on chariots. Isis is focused on happiness and growth. Some attrition immunity. Okay, that's nice. Replenishment, melee defense. It's just more defensive Osiris. Yeah. Ra, I don't have access. I don't have access to any of these. Okay. Yeah, those are all gods. Yeah, okay. So, I think... I think Horus would be nice. It does give me influence, which is cool. Enemy armies in regions get less movement on land. Yeah, it seems cool. It seems good. Hmm... Hmm. Osiris for the melee defense. That would be nice as well. But yeah. I think overall Horus is the deal. Yeah, let me worship. Let me confirm it. And I'm already on tier 2, which is great. Yeah, that's cool. And I can devote a general and he can be a man mess. Yeah, let, let me just double check. The effects are movement restored, the charge bonus, and speed, which is always great. So I think that's going to be a cool one to get... Sorry? Where, where is it? Oh, it's here. To get MNMS for. I think so. Devoted General Armor, charge bonus, Devoted General Influence, Melee Defense. Yeah, I think it's fine. Osiris well, would be quite a better one, likely, but... It's not a bad deal that I'm getting Horus here. So yeah, let's confirm. Let's confirm. That's pretty cool. Okay, workforce when temple completed. Faction wide. Okay, so bronze during collapse. Bronze income. Influence. I think I'm turning to the income. Okay, some more stone. That would be nice. I think I'm going to go for the influence there. Diplomatic relations, not really necessary. XP as well. Construction time, that would be nice. Happiness plus three. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the influence, indeed. I stand unbroken. Okay. I'm gonna go for that army. Death to my enemies. Can I move him force march and station there? Yeah, I think that's the best thing. That's cool. Because I need to be able to attack there in the next turn. Overall, I'm in mess. I think I can take that army and this guy is going to attack there. We'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Alright, so this should be a very easy auto-resolve in this case. Yeah, and I do get a lot of food, which is excellent, actually. And I'll get even more food, so that will help. So, Seti is the new treasurer. That's interesting. I have a d god dedication slot there. I refuse that. Okay, worship tier up. It's the for Horus. Yeah, I already got that. Okay, let me just make sure that every single army is as cheap as possible, actually. Let me give him some items or anything that I can. Well, it doesn't seem that I can do. Okay. Uh, can I get there? Let me see. Yeah, that's nice. So just a bunch of other resolves to improve my situation. And again, focusing on the food because that's... That's... Uh, after the stone is exactly what you always should focus. Okay, let me see. What else do I need? Okay, can you force march anywhere that can give me some movement? Well, it, it can't. You can see the red movement there. Okay, that's fine. Still at school. I'll have two armies to go and invade the main forces of, of Buhan. Not the main forces, the main locations, the main places. Hmm. What should I do here? Let me think. Let me think. Yeah, I want the economic to go there. So I, I also want these shrines, these shrines of horrors here and there. So that way I can get a couple of more benefits. This guy definitely can go really Everybody far away march. with forced march, but I kind of want to get the best units available. Yeah, uh, I'll see. If to it in just a moment. Let me see. So Nubin recruits. I want better ones. Yeah, Nubin longbowmen. That's for sure. Already have some mercenary bombermen. I, I want the ones with the most range. So I'm gonna give the Jitify just you know cushioned archers. And I want some spearmen, some better spearmen and better clubmen. Yeah. So Amon Mess has much better units then. Except that's it. So now I have kind of like a tier two sort of army with Emin Mess. That's the idea. Revenge. Much better. Yeah, this army is powerful. Powerful enough for, you know, turn 31. That's cool. Secure the vaults. And there's a court action. I always like to go into the treasurer. Plot against, I can threaten, I can blackmail. 69% to get that. So yeah, let me try it. Let me try it. Perform an intrigue. Okay, that would be gossip, but I don't have the court action here. And construction available. Yeah, definitely I have some better slots. Some more slots, actually. I would like that influence. I would like the Monument of Greatness. Yeah. Can only build one perfection. Sounds like here would be nice. I'll have to think it through. This gets, This does give me more happiness and more food. Workforce, replenishment, influence, movement on land, construction costs. Yeah, that would have been nice in the beginning. Okay. 
More bronze, more food, more food would be nice. Yeah, this one has a couple of them, so for food. Oh no, let's go irrigation ditch. Yeah, definitely. Or no. Do I? Or do I want the temples? Hmm. Did this give uh, production some favor, happiness? Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Kind of need a couple of temples. And, yep. Just overall improvement. Okay, and I will up. Yeah, I'll need some workforce to do that building. So, yeah. That'll be for the next turn. Chitify, yeah, I can get less upkeep, which is excellent. It's exactly what we want, and that is it for now. Okay, we're attacking the garrison here. I cannot resolve it. We just have my coffee. We were too much for them. Yeah, definitely too much. Let's occupy. And finally, now this sounds a little bit better, you know, I have control. But the sea people, well, in this case, the Libyans are invading. They don't have a lot of stuff and they do take casualties from the desert. But there's like one, two, three, four. I don't have too many defenses here. Hopefully those would deter them from attacking at least. While I'll send my GTFI dude over there. Unfortunately my invasion of Buha needs to wait a little bit. Yeah, this guy is going to go all the way back. Let me check some of these uh, forts and everything else. Or these outposts. I really like the outpost mechanic, but uh, I, I'm still not used to it. You know, because I'm playing Warhammer as well in the meantime. Which means that I, whenever I come to, to Pharaoh, I always have to oh uh, remi remind myself of uh, how it works here with the outposts. Okay, yeah, this is changing. It's likely going to change owners there, and that guy, the guy that is actually getting it, is actually it's not my ally, but it, I do have good relations with him. Okay, royal gardens, more influence. Influence would be nice because it does give to adjacent ones. Hmm. Yeah, just the basic ones. I'm focusing a lot on, on just the resources one, and I really don't know if that is the best I one. Okay, more, less upkeep, more replenishment, more movement. Movement is nice, especially for this guy. Gonna need a little bit. Settlement upgrade to Ua. I don't know if I want to do it, because these guys have the Libyans nearby. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's better. I think it's better. And Kawa, I still need workforce. Okay, still need workforce. Let's have to wait for it. So yeah, have to wait for that workforce indeed. Pillars of Civilization is dropping, so who knows what I'm gonna have. And let me just quickly browse and check the treaties. So I am, uh, you know, Buhan doesn't have any strength, so, which is great actually. And Miam has seven, and it's kind of happy with me, so is Kurkur. So that's nice. Duty, I almost can get some non aggression packs there. All will me. What else can I get? Peace treaty with Wuhan? Yeah, Battle of course they, they would go for it. They have nothing, so yeah. But doesn't seem... No, I want to finish. I like to always finish off the enemies Mighty one by one. It's much better. Less enemies to worry about later on. You know, less factions. Okay. First battle against the Libu invaders. They do have quite some decent units. No, but for the most part, it's just tier one. You can see there on the bronze circle around the unit. And I have better units overall, so, and, and more units. So, yeah, it should be easy. Let's fight it out. Up to 
And here I have my spearmen deployed on the high ground with some clubmen behind and of course the archers are still on the high ground to uh, ditch out any damage dish out any damage oh. <laughs> to enemies yep yeah. it's good that i have the high ground here in terms of the enemy they do have some units with shield of course i'll have to avoid shooting those in detriment of just trying to hit these guys who have double-handed weapons these are spears double-handed and mace double-handed so these guys are armor piercing i'm gonna focus fire them also the slingers but yeah and there should be a bodyguard unit there we go there he is let's fight let's have a fight okay in terms of battle plan of course i'll uh, have my spears on the fr uh, front archers will focus fire anything that doesn't have shield of course and he does have more melee so i have to be careful but overall i think this should be very easy uh, don't know how i'm going to deal with the general but i guess uh, focus fire will do and here's the enemy general approaching the bodyguard of course these spears can hold on for quite a while And sending in some clubmen, that alone should give them some trouble on this and actually getting a little bit enveloped. But these guys suffered heavy casualties from my archers before. And he's trying to envelop me here, so of course I'm focus firing on them, even though they have the shield. Still, it's better than to leave them just alone. And of course now I'm going to shoot on their backs. And yeah, enemies getting peppered down with arrows. He tried to flank, but of course my uh, archers just focused fire anything that was on the flanks. And now I'm going to move in my uh, our arrow units to deal with those slingers. It should be a fairly easy battle. Well, let's just hope that I don't lose any full unit. And that's it, basically. So yeah. You see how the, the spears actually hold on really well. They stay in formation really well, so it's really cool. And notice there's no lag. When, when there's a battle with one one army versus one army, I have no issues. So, unfortunately, yeah, that was the case. My, my PC can handle this. I didn't realize it couldn't handle uh, a little bit more units on the field, sadly. So the best way would be to actually reduce the number of uh, men per entity. Alright, so my archers are now shooting at the enemy slingers, but there's a sweltering. So I don't have a lot of range or speed, so yeah, it's kind of a problem. But overall, the enemy is getting thwarted, for sure. You know, most of his units are just either wavering or about to. They're suffering a lot, actually. Especially the general is kind of exhausted and I'm going to start shooting him on the back. So, yeah, that's always helpful. You see already some shots coming in. Okay, my spears actually manage really well. Okay, so they are breaking. And now I'll envelop the general. I'm already sending in these guys to shoot on their backs. These guys are retreating. So overall, everything is going well. Yeah, they're starting to break. Right, and that's the end of the battle against the Levu invaders. Mm, I'm going to need the replenishment here or the food. Hmm. Now I think the replenishment because I'm in the high desert. The gods favor me. Yeah. All right. So conquer an enemy province capital, bring back all your provinces to positive happiness. Maintain 77 units. I think conquer the enemy province capital is actually easier. Hmm. Huh. That would be 2,000 gold. Oh, and one victory point. So I guess so. I need to go for that. And 
oh it's lagging a little bit on the campaign map oh sorry about that so overall seems good i'm having a nice a nice uh, location to defend i'm gonna conquer buhan idea i'm gonna defend here yeah should be nice it's a good start you know turn 34 and i have a solid base so yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next episode okay bye bye